I've pulled several audio clips from various videos. I'm going to show you some of the ground level camera audios here. You can see up here where my cursor is at this top waveform. This part up here is from the taxi cab that was in the line at the Mandalay Bay. We're going to show a clear echo here, show you what an echo looks like, and then where she heard the faraway shots. This section is from the police body cam cameras when they were trying to tell people who were exiting the concert venue to get back, get back, get back. I want you to hear what you hear. I'm going to point out some things, but the waveform gives you a visual that you don't get, obviously, when you're looking at this stuff on your phone or computer or television, whatever. I've edited audio for well over 20 years, almost 30, I'm not even going to say how many years I've been editing this, but used to do it back in the day when we didn't have all this digital stuff, and you'd have to take a two-minute song and condense it down to fit a 45-minute piece of video. So I have a keen ear for edit points, for audio editing, and this little program called Twisted Wave works on the Mac I have quite a bit of experience with. So I wanted to just show you some different clips, let you listen to this, point out some things, and then you decide, and I would be interested in your comments below, what you think is going on. This is from one of the ground level cell phone cams inside the concert venue. Alright, now let's, let's go back and listen to this again. Several things that I would point out here. First of all, you can see all of these spikes are rifle shots. But then you start to hear these deeper sounds. You see this, here again, here again, and you see these start to appear throughout in addition to, but separate from. So there are different cadence, there are different sound, different, I'm going to say gun, perhaps, than these other um, spikes that you're seeing here. Listen again. So let's, let's just get a read on this. So you can listen to these and just put your eye on these spots so that your eye and ear are catching these points as they go. It goes by really fast, so you have to kind of sync up here. But watch this again. So you get the idea there. Now, listen just for these points here. And let's even mark them. Let's mark one there, one there. Um, let's see. Let's find them again here. Back to the beginning. Okay, there's one. There's one. There's one. See how they are so different than these high ones that you're hearing. Listen again. Listen back through. Now, right here, this first cadence that you're seeing here, clearly bump, 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 see they stop, and then it gets faster before they start up again. <laughs> Hear that in the background? You can't see it in the waveform. It would be hidden right in this section right in through here, but you can hear it get faster right there. <laughs> and then here again come, the, come these deep ones. Look, boom, boom. Boom. While this other is going on. Clearly different sounds. I mean, you can see it. You can see it with your eyes. There again, it speeds up right in through here. Did you hear that? Fades off here, speeds up here. And here's the deep ones again. That one almost sounded, this one right here almost sounded like a handgun. This one right here. See, that's completely different than all of the other ones that you've heard, yet it's about the same volume 
but it's just a completely different sound. All right, this is different section. These are the shots that you've seen and heard when Jason Aldean was playing and the shot started and he stopped. Now I just want to show you right through here. Look at the difference here versus what we just looked at. You can see it already. This is symmetric, one gun. No echoes, no undercurrent, no different types of patterns, nothing to point out. It's just one symmetric rhythmic pattern all the way through. Now right here, that little change is a change of camera angle. This was edited video. And now we've gone up to where the person panned up to the monitor. And so this is a completely different angle right here. Still symmetric, still just walking right on through. You can tell that's obviously one gun. Big contrast to what we saw at the beginning. Now, this was the end, and this is interesting. This is right when he stops singing. And again, this could be a tail out or something. The camera pans back to the stage. But listen to the difference in sound here. Oh, that's interesting. You say, ah, oh, that's an echo. I'm going to show you why I would argue why it's not an echo. Because... We only have... This is the end of the primary sound. And that's what you would call the echo if it is. That's 0.8, or let's say 0.9 seconds. Hold on to that. We'll come back. I'm going to show you up here at the taxi cab driver why I think that's not an echo. But anyway, the music stops. He leaves the stage. That's a different sound right there. All right, that was in there just to show what a good, clean, non-obstructed, no echo. That's obviously one gun, one sequence. You can tell, you can just visually see the difference. I need to take a video. No, 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 get it. Get it. Now this we have, obviously, one gun through here, and then it changes. There's a little bit of pause, and then we have some different sounds. Let's blow it up here so you can see some of these. There's our little bass sound again. And, you know, like I said, I'm an editor. I've done this as part of what I do for a living. I'm not a weapons expert. I can't tell you what caliber that was, what gun it came from, what angle. I can't tell you any of that. I'm just telling you, I'm seeing different stuff on this waveform. Let me play that again without the jump in it. There's the little gap. Different rhythm, different timber. Now this was interesting because again, you're kind of getting the rhythm now and you're seeing, I mean, you could look at that waveform right there and pretty much tell that that was one gun, right? And it was. Until you get to these two points, and then listen to the staccato right there. there. This little spot right here, and this little spot right here. Listen. And what's interesting is the rhythm of the background, this rhythm that was going on here, continues. It doesn't stop. It gets a little faint. And you know, these, these phones, these cell phones process it that way. They will mute a background sound to 
enhance the foreground sound. So in other words, if you're doing a little selfie, you know, you got your arm out, you're talking into your phone, and there's a jet airplane going by, it's going to magnify your voice and tone down the jet airplane. And that's kind of what happened there. It toned the background down as these sounds came in, and then it elevated the background again, and it tailed out with obviously one gun. Now this camera is moving around a little bit, so some of those sound changes could very well be just the camera moving, but I hear two different sounds. If I were mixing this on a multi-track system, I would hear, or I would say that this is an overlap of two different sounds. And all of you guys who have mixed any kind of MIDI or music or anything know exactly what I'm talking about here. And see, again, you can see it change on the waveform right there. There's where it starts. You've got this but up ba 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 bump for about six or eight shots. And then look at the difference in the staccato. Something else got mixed into the soup. And then the camera, I think, pans around. Something changes on the angle there. And we kind of lose that of what we had um, there for that duplicated sound. I wish I had the technology to pull all these highs out so that the lows could stay in. I imagine somebody has that technology, but that just sounds to me like two different uh, two distinct different sounds. You can hear the rhythm change right there. Again, that's clearly, you can see it. Now, let me show you this. This is the taxi driver lady that they've labeled as the Zapruder film of Las Vegas. And here's why they're saying that. She's sitting at the Mandalay Bay in the, in the cab line with her window down on a typical, otherwise, Sunday night, and she hears this. Okay? Now, I've already marked this. We have eight shots here. Let's count them. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then there's a gap of, look up here in the upper right, one point, almost four seconds of gap. And then we have the echo. The echo is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, perfectly. Here's what's interesting. This series of shots was 0.714 of a second. 0.7, almost three quarters of a second. Look at this. From the start to the finish, I marked right here where this shot began, where this ended, where the echo began, where the echo ended. They are exactly the same. The echo did not change in length. That is clearly an echo. She was in those porticos. You know, there are two canopies that she has to go over. There's obviously a cavernous effect from the buildings there. And that's just clearly, but da 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 and then 1.4 seconds later, an echo. And she says... Yeah, it does. It sounds like automatic gunfire. Yeah, it was. We know that now, don't we? And then, now there's an edit point right there. You can just see it right there. I clipped out a lot of the... In fact, I did it here as well, uh, where she was just sitting there with her window down. There was a long gap there. You've seen this footage. If not, go look on YouTube. It's there. Just look up Los Angeles Taxi Cab Driver. And when she hears this second little barrage, 
there was no close-up sound before this, and she even acknowledges that. I just took it out. I'm just pointing out that is an edit point. Then this happens. Okay, ba-bump, ba -bump, ba -bump, ba bump You can even tell the difference. This is perfect staccato here. This is erratic staccato here. Let's magnify this up so that you can hear it a little better. Listen to this again. Completely different style of shooting. There's the echo, perfectly timed. And she says, I'm going to reduce that back just so it stays that way. She says... Now it sounds like it's coming from um, farther away. And even while she's speaking, you can hear more shots in the background. Listen to this again. Now it sounds like it's coming from um, farther away. You hear that? There's butt of that right there as she's... Now it sounds like it's coming from um, farther away. There's like three in here and then three, those three right there. That is going to have to be explained. Now let's switch to the police body cam. Listen to this. This is when they were in that walkway and they were trying to tell people to the left to get back to the concert venue, get down. The Mandalay is to their right. Listen. Okay, again, you've seen enough of this now that you can tell there is no symmetric pattern inside any of that. In fact, if you were trying to edit this and this were music beats, you'd have a really difficult time editing it because there are so many sounds going on in there. Not only the cop talking, but the siren and everything else going around. But if I were trying to make a music edit in there and those were music beats, it would be pretty difficult because there are so many different sounds. Listen again. Now again, you've seen the footage. This is the cop standing there. They, the LA, uh, or excuse me, the Las Vegas Police Department only released about three minutes of this footage of the body cam. And this is the very first part of it. So if you want to go back and check this, you'll hear the same sounds. The cop is hunched down. This is before he goes up and tells the people to get back, get back, get back. I'm going to play you that next. Listen again. How many different gunfire sounds you hear as this guy is crouched down in that walkway. All right, now you say, well, that's just echoes and ricochets and everything from, okay, well, all right, fair enough. They move about 15 feet up, and then another series of shots happens. That was where they were obviously telling the people to the left to get back and duck down. Look at the symmetry. Look at that symmetry. They're in the same place. They just moved up a few feet. Shots coming from the same point. One gun here. Here, they're back, maybe 15 feet. You can hear the guns in the background, and you can hear the primary in the background. I hope you can. At least you can see it in the waveform because it's all erratic. Look at the difference between that and that. Same guy, same body cam, same officer, same alleyway. Big difference. So these are some of the questions that have to be answered. I hope this helps, and eventually may the truth prevail. God bless America.